One quarter final down, three to go at the Rugby World Cup in Japan, where next up it is New Zealand taking on Ireland. Conditions are cool, but the air is heavy with rain. Still a possibility here at Tokyo Stadium. The 2019 World Cup continues to blow everyone away with ticket sales now at 99%, while the country itself embraces rugby like never before. You can hear the roar there as the Irish team make their way off the park to go through their final preparations. And now a quick look at how we find New Zealand up against Ireland in this second quarter final. New Zealand maintain the undefeated run in the history of World Cup pool stages, while Ireland, that little slip up against Japan, cost them top spot in their pool and sees them taking on the now world ranked number one side, New Zealand. It is great to have you with us for quarterfinal number two, where the winner will face England in semi-final number one. I'm Sean Maloney, and alongside me for the call is Welsh Test Centurion Martin Williams and New Zealand rugby legend Carl Tanana. KT, knockout rugby, how good is it? Oh, come on, wow, Shawnee Martin up says, oh, it has definitely lifted. There's a nervous energy ever since the team have come into play. There's a smattering, well, pretty equal, I'd say, between Irish supporters and All Blacks around so it has been very very interesting to see as you walk around the stadium but the New Zealand lineup looks like this up front it's a staunch front row with Joe Moody, Nipo Lalala and Cody Taylor getting the start in front of Dane Coles looking for the 53rd time in a test match comes Brody Retallick and Sam Whitelock and I really like the loose forward the explosive Artie Saver in Jersey 6 the dependable Sam Kane in Jersey 7 with the captain Kieran Reid and the all-important playmakers role. It is elite for New Zealand. The jersey number nine, Aaron Smith, with Richie Moonga. And the outstanding partners in the centres, Anton Leonard Brown has been brilliant this tournament. And he partners up with Jack Goodhue in jersey number 13. And it is all-out attack out the back with George Bridge in 11, Seve Reese in 14. And the heavy experience, Bowden Barrett takes the 15 jersey. And there is so much strike power on the bench as well that coach... Hansen can call on, including the mountain, that is Sonny Bill Williams. So that's how New Zealand look. We now go to Mark Williams to take us through Ireland, and there's just such a buzz around this team as they look to continue their good record, their good recent record against the All Blacks. Yeah, good evening, Shawnee. They've come in their droves, the Irish fans. Tokyo has been awash with green jerseys. The stadium, they travel, they love their team. They've been unbelievably successful under Joe Schmidt. Is this going to be Joe Schmidt's last game? They hope they hope not. Is it going to be that man's last game? Maury Best, what a stalwart in the Irish jersey. So much experience in this Irish team. So well against New Zealand in the past. Won two out of their last three matches, but this is the one that counts. What experience in this front row. Over 250 test appearances between Healy, Best and Tyke Furlong. Second row, big night for those guys, Ian Henderson and James Ryan. who have been a revelation since coming into the test team. Back row, great, dynamic. Josh van der Flee on the open side, Omani's lining up the billion. CJ Stander, only Semi Rodrada has carried more in this World Cup. 56th out in for that pair of half-backs. Huge experience, Murray and Sexton. And in the centres, Robbie Henshaw comes in for the unfortunate Bundiaki. And look out for Ring Rose, real elusive runner in the outside centre in the 13 jersey. I'd expect these guys to go aerial. Jacob Stockdale, Keith Earls, Rob Carney, superb aerially. No doubt Joe Schmidt will be calling on the services of Jordan Lama, who was excellent against Samoa in their final pool game. Well, it is a full house here at Tokyo Stadium. 50,000 in the house. This is the Atmos pre-kickoff. What's it going to sound like when we get it moving? OK, we'll take you back to our coin toss. It's best up against Reed. Nigel Owens, the man in charge tonight.
<laughs> it's happened almost every game, Mark Williams. They get in to the depths of these stadiums. They flip the corner. They can't work out which way they're running. Something's got to be done before the next quarter final, please. Somebody just make it simpler for these captains. They've got, they've got enough on their plate as it is. Like I said, do it pitch side, maybe. Might make it a little bit easier. Okay, now we're heading to the All Blacks dressing sheds, looking to move ahead and keep their hopes of a three-peat alive. They are up against tough opposition tonight. It's a stat that everyone's been talking about in the lead-up to this clash. Ireland's recent record against New Zealand. The All Blacks, though, were wonderful through pool stages, put away. South Africa 23-13, and they were too good for Canada. It was a shutout, 63 zip, then far too good for Namibia as well, running up a 71-9 scoreline. Ireland, well, they had that shock loss against Japan that has set them on this collision course with New Zealand. Yeah, they've been building for this island. Bounced back well after the Japan defeat, put some over to bed, and there is so much experience. So many players have experienced beating the All Blacks, and they're going to have to draw on that in droves tonight. Yeah, it's 12 in total that Joe Schmidt has lined up tonight. 12 Irish players who've tasted success against Brodie Retallick and Dane Coles. Wonderful to see Brodie Retallick back on the park as well. He comes Kieran Reid, captaining his side tonight for the 50th time. Closing in on Sean Fitzpatrick with 51. And then at the top of the pops is Richie McCaw. Yeah, what an absolute legend Kieran Reid is. But this is it, this is win or go home. Huge pressure on both teams. So much expectation on both shoulders. People may think just New Zealand, but Ireland came out of this tournament. So much expectation. What a game we have in prospect. Roy Best. The 37-year-old skipper. And he's 124th game for Ireland. And now the Tycho drums start to hammer out around Tokyo Stadium. Kieran Reid chasing a third World Cup. Rory Best chasing his first. You've done it with Wales. Tell us what's it like when you enter the cauldron like this and it's all the line, you lose, you're out the back door. It's so difficult to put in words, Shawnee, what those boys are going through, what those players are going through at this moment when you're walking out. Just want to kick off every emotion you could possibly think of running through your body, nerves, excitement, dread, everything in there. And what an atmosphere, by the way. Tell me this, Ireland's record in World Cups, never making a semi-final in the history of the tournament. Does that work in their favour or against them for tonight's matchup? I think since they mentioned yesterday, they can't do anything about the past. It's all about the next 80 minutes. It's an incredible record to think of all the great teams Ireland have had over the years. They've never got past the quarter-final stage. And they are facing the ultimate test tonight in the All Blacks. Good Hugh. Lining up tonight alongside Anton Leonard Brown. Just their third centre pairing with the All Blacks, those two. Anthems in just a moment, but first, a moment of silence as we stand in solidarity with the people of Japan following the loss of life brought about by Typhoon Hagibis. <laughs>
national anthem of New Zealand and the anthem of Ireland. New Zealand. Anthems are done. Next up, the Harker. Carlton Anna, you performed it countless times. What goes through your mind before laying the challenge down? Well, that's what it's all about, Sean. It's about the All Blacks, not about the Irish. It's laying down the challenge. It's getting themselves physically and mentally ready to go to war. Always a special time. And I know after such an emotional rendition there of the National Anthem for Ireland, they will be into this New Zealand. It's TJ Perinara. He's the guy. He'll lead it off.
All Blacks aim up and the Irish fans climb on their sides' backs. Incredible audio from Tokyo Stadium. Steve Hansen has done all he can. So too has his opposite, Joe Schmidt, with Ireland. Kickoff just two minutes away. Well, Carlton Anna, how about that? Met right off the bat by the roar of the Irish fans, the Harker. Oh, as you'd expect, though, Shawnee, they have come in absolute numbers. The supporters for Ireland and the team as well, very staunch in their approach. They know it's all about keeping mentally, emotionally in check for New Zealand. Now, just going through the last week through the captain, Kieran Reid. It's about harnessing these emotions and being positive with it. Yeah, as, Ke as Katie says, Shawnee, lots of emotion pre-match, but then got to keep your discipline, got to go through your processes it's knockout rugby no room for any mistakes but this is going to go off both these sides you can just see it in the faces of each and every player the wattage has been cranked to maximum New Zealand the island a semi-final spot awaits the winner but in Barrel smiles. Relaxed, ready to go. Yeah. Nigel Owens in charge. We are in great hands. New Zealand v Ireland. Scrappy from the kickoff. Snap back now by Ireland. In goes Murray. Happy to try and work it away through the big man. It comes out the back though, and we'll head back to the initial knock from the kickoff. And we'll take a moment now to go sideline to Carl Tanana for a quick pitch update. KT, what have you got? Yeah, absolutely brilliant conditions here. And he has to start into a slight well, breeze here at the back the of Ireland. So trying to use that to their advantage there. New Zealand not quite getting the right. The New Zealand, you'll see, just wearing an armband. Space left is okay. Shoulders. That's just for the grandfather yeah, of the Barrett boys who passed away, unfortunately, Good this down. week. Good. It's Carlton on its sideline. Welsh rugby legend Martin Williams upstairs i'm alongside him sean maloney delivering you all the action from tokyo stadium quarterfinal number two and it's connor murray who'll feed the first scrum of the night yeah, big, big week advantage for the all bucks as you can see there technically superb scrum up at 100 percent in this world cup murray comes short side Finds Stockdale, who gets it back tight. across to Sexton. Looks to mix it up with a crossfield kick. It's brought in well, though, by George Bridge and holds his feet nicely. Collapses just inside the left-hand touchline. Moonga, flat ball for Whitelock. Whitelock crashes it on. Good Hugh, grabbing in behind. It's a good chase from Barrett, but Carney will just let it trickle in a touch. Yeah, just a little... Little inkling to what Ireland will do. They'll vary the kicking game. They'll go high. They went crossfield that time. We've seen it so been so effective in effective in this World Cup. Almost a kick pass, really. Just a little bit too much on it for Sexton. The bridge does well to clean up for some of the first contacts in these on the gain line. Huge hit from Arnie Severe on Kian Healy first up. Best. His line out throws have been terrific all World Cup long. It's another good throw and take. Brought down by Henderson. Murray looking for options. They'll crash it one off. Forty away from their own line, and now a little knock here, is it, from Ireland? It is, and it'll be an all black scrum feed. Yeah, CJ Standard. He's gone. Into White contact, man. high on Whitelock. Just ball watch ball. this. Turn over ball. The old blast, Kieran Reed. Whitelock, they lead that up all day long. You've got to go lower. Nigel Owens calls them all. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Brilliant yeah, defence. 
from the experienced Reed and Whitelock. Interesting too, Martin, that the Irish went to a five-man line-out straight away and their ball was so slow, it was easy for the defence, as you said, for Kieran Reed and Sammy Whitelock just to eat that up as they take their time. It looks like Sam Whitelock's down. <laughs> You know, you were three, you were three guys in and the mall was keeping form, so I couldn't have done anything then, okay? The mall was keeping form. Okay, we're going to need him. Yeah, if that was a mall, they could have done it. There he is. All good. White lock, never lost a Rugby World yeah, Cup game. How about that for record? 17 and 0, if you don't mind. What a player. He sort of goes under the radar, the Rutala gets all the. Claudius, but that man there, Sam Whitelock, really good, more space. in every game in 2011, really 2015, good, and now in this yeah, tournament, and as you say, Shawnee, 17 and 0 with World yeah. Cup rugby, what a record. Nobody has ever done it. He stands alone I'm as the only man to win 17 on the bounce. There's a look at the defensive setup from Ireland. Yes, he said with Reese, the right winger for the All Blacks, hugging the touchline. As wide as you possibly could go. So interesting to see what play the All Blacks are going to throw at Island first up, first phase, first phase attack. Smith with the feed. Both forward packs lock it down. Noonga, he'll go straight to the air. Sends it up for Goodyear. Goodyear gets through, gets shielded off the ball. It bounces off an Irish head now, still with Reese. Still with Reese, his first touch for the night. Nearing the 22, so it's a net result for the All Blacks. Leonard Brown over to Whitelock, dropped well in the tackle, going low was Furlong, Barrett over to Goodhue, Goodhue dropped by Best, Noonga, Whitelock tips it on to Sevilla, good strong contact early on from the Irish, that was Redwell outside in from Stockdale but he went without. Well, it was a 50 50 call there, stopped there, thought he'd read it. Gonna gather that. You're lucky it's just a penalty yeah, only. he's gone for the penalty, yeah. No chance of regathering that stop there, so good call from Nigel Owens to give the All Blacks a penalty. Just look at this, he's gone for the miss when Moanga and he's just tapped it down stop there, so lucky. Some referees maybe for a yellow there. Well, he knows it's only. Inches away, though. I think if he commits 100%, he's sort of got caught at the last going 50 50. If he goes 100, I think he gets that ball. It's away. But New Zealand have to be wary that their line speed has been very good at Ireland so far. Yeah, really, few bodies down already. Only four minutes into the game, it's like yeah, blood injuries, few of the Irish players taking a knee. Stick out one hand, yeah. you don't get it. Yeah. You take the consequences, okay? And that's okay. the uh, okay, you, yeah. Yeah, no, you didn't get it, and that's why Be very careful because if they were numbers and stuff. Yeah, Jordan Lama just coming on there as a blood placement. <laughs> as you said, Johnny been very, very good, this young man. Yeah, uh, he's got electric feet. Jordan Lama really is. Probably what Island will do, they'll move Keith Hills into the outside centre. Go back ten and boys, slot. please. Lama will slot in over on that right 10. wing. A really yeah, interesting play from yeah, the All Blacks. First yeah. scrum. No, 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 no. no. Irish tactics. Up, up and end. Caught Island by surprise. No one gathered. Okay. And they're on the attack. Time on. What are you doing, boys? You've got the kick into you. You must go for the post. You've got the kick into you. Must go for the post. <laughs> they call that pot committed, Carlson. You it's got the tee. Line them up. Oh, 100%. There it is. The nice hard shot. You know, it was going to be physical right from the get go. And just that head on head clash. Unfortunate there from friendly fire. Yeah. Expect Ring Rose back on. Quick HIA. There we are. Robbie Henshaw. He's been strapped up. Ring Rose HIA. A few stitches and he'll be back out there. So, Richie Moonga. 12 from 13. Off the tee. At the. 2019 Rugby World Cup. Looking to keep that near perfect record intact here. 35 out. 10 in from touch. No real breeze to speak of. Heavy air though around Tokyo Stadium. 
Noonga. For opening points, strikes it well. Smokes it through. And New Zealand go up by three. Oh, that's a great kick from Richie Moonga. Settles all the nerves. Not an easy kick by any stretch of that imagination, but it was only going one place straight through the sticks. Great start for the All Blacks. Sorry, just sort of give you a wave or okay. Thank you. They flat bat the restart. It's lovely work in the air from Stockton. Climbed up over the top and came down with it for Ireland. Now, Omani, Sexton. Open again. Now back for Bess. Good run from Bess, keeps it alive as well. Linking the passes nicely here, Ireland. Looking for the immediate reply, taken on by Ryan. On the 22, Sexton. Omani. Murray. Best. Pays distributor over to Sexton. Now with Earls, and it's loose across the deck and tied ahead here. New Zealand through bridge, set out after it, tidied up well at the back by Lama. Hands away now, Black. Got him his feet placed in. Excellent work from the. Didn't see it. Replacement utility back. Not yeah. for me. Scooting home and bring it in. Here, Ireland punching it up again. Sexton out of action for the moment. No kicker in the pocket, so Murray looking to box here. Short of options. Murray charged down and into touch. They get out of jail big time there, Number Ireland. Yeah, I think that's Sorry, best case scenario there that it's going to be their line out. For that man there, Jacob Stockdale, just watch this for a take off the kickoff. Total disregard for his own safety. Touch the arm of the player, not the ball. And then good defence. Jack could close his heels down and then they're away. But Lama's pace gets Ireland out of trouble. Great recovery work from the young and Young winger and Cody Taylor. Just a deflection gives yeah. Ireland a chance to get out of their 22. Excellent take there from Henderson. Their line out is ticking along nicely. They keep it tight. Advantage, taking it down six. Now the penalty advantage for Ireland. This will help no clear their 22. Six. You drove him to the ground, you took it down. Six black. Driving yeah. him down to the ground, that's collapsing them all. Yeah, there he is, Gary Ringles. Looks if he's just bar. coming on, mm. two stitches strapped up. No, not for us, no, no. Seems Going to take the more than a gash to take you off the, the field ball. this evening. For a great out outcome for Ireland, yeah. under real pressure, 10, 15 metres from the line. Great drill in the line, now catch, drive. New Zealand give the penalty win, they're going to relieve the pressure. Yeah, I think it was Adi Sabi and jersey number six being pointed out okay. there. But the line has been absolutely brilliant all tournament long from this Irish team. Very steady for the start of this game. No, no, you were in from the... You, you, you weren't offside, but you drove him down to the ground. You've got to hit the weight step, OK? So you've tackled him in the mall, basically. And Nigel Owens giving the instructions there to Artie Sevilla, who infringed that that mall, and now in sweeps Moody at the back. Get the numbers right, and they go to the mall again. Ireland nearing halfway, but counted nicely on that occasion by New Zealand. Henshaw lost there, and you can see what that first up turnover means to the All Blacks. They are hooping it up deluxe. Yeah, again, really physical on that Keane line. This time, Anton Leonard Brown and Sam Keane. We saw earlier with Kieran Reid and. White lock, holding standard at that time, just so physical. Yeah? Okay. Robbie Hench was a good carrier of the ball, but a great shot on him from that man there, Sam Key. Two or three times, though, the Irish team have turned the ball over through sloppy work, taking the ball into contact. They'll need to sharpen that up pretty quick because he can't give this all black team too many opportunities, especially in this position. Very flat in their attack. Keep that space good. So, with their last scrum, at this end of town, New Zealand are happy to go to the air and get a chase. And that 
Lane. Brought about eventually three points Seven. following the down, infringement from Stockdale. Keep the pressure up. It's a similar type setup. Sevilla peels off and unwinds in a section. Trademark carry from Sevilla. Now on the angle through Reed, back towards traffic. This is Moody. Moody. 30 out. Lost now. That's good. Smith. Moonga. Moonga. Over for Barrett. Barrett releasing Reese with his quick feet. Holds it up here for Lynette Brown. He's thrown into the turf. Good tackle it was from Stockdale. Moonga. Reed. Delays a pass. Release. And they came outside in and went whacked in Ireland. Barrett has to bobble it. Retali. Reese. Reese getting close to that touchline. Just checks it in the field of play. Reed again. Lays it off at the line. Lovely ball for Taylor. Now good Hugh. Excellent run of play here from the All Blacks. Smith wide. Barrett bullets it out the back. Mwunga. Mwunga looking for Bridge. Bridge chasing and Carney's back to save his team. Ah, so efficient from the All Blacks. Really is. Ball carrying. Oh, Start with Addy Sevilla. Off the back of the scrum, easily gets over the game line into Johnny Sexton. If you're carrying a bump, that's the last thing you want to see is that man running full pelt. And he does well, Sexton, but then it's just the efficiency. Moanga saw his goal kicking earlier on. Magician with ball in hand and just piling on the pressure, New Zealand. Overthrown at the back, but it's going to fall for Leonard Brown, who bounces one off. It was Sexton, I think, who came reeling out of it. It was. They go to work again, New Zealand, nearing the line. Sevilla, who helped get them headed in this direction. Sent back that time round. Now, Retallick, Retallick back towards the sticks. Smith guiding his backs across to the left. Reed at the back. Reed. Happy just to Watch take a set the one the off. Dominating with ball in hand here, the All Blacks, and with field position. Now they put their play to work. They go wide for Bridge, who sneaks back in field. Great defence again from Ireland. Whitelock, Whitelock, seven away. Gets some help there from Kane. Moody takes two with him. Ireland slow down play. a touch. Reed, shaped to pass, goes himself. Reed, Smith, scanning for options, getting it to Kane. Five, that Smith, Aaron Smith reaches out and jams down the first five-pointer for New Zealand. Just a black wave, recycling time after time after time. Big carries. Kieran Reed got them on the front foot. White lock, John Moody with a few carries. And then that man, Aaron Smith, is an armchair right for him at the moment. There he is, Keenan Reed, dummies. Sucks in three Irish defenders. And he's just too sharp, Aaron Smith. Half a gap, Kane stopped on the game line, good defence, but soon as he sees the Irish defence, just a little bit slow in that guard position, he's over. The New Zealand fullback just making a point to the Irish team. They're going right down and flexing their muscles and opening up the hole for the ever experienced the, um, Aaron Smith. What a moment for New Zealand. What a statement. I'm going to be ball focused quite a lot. So just keep an eye. But all the entries so far are looking okay for me. Just keep an eye, okay? The additional two go on the board as well. And it's 10 zip through 15. It's just the efficiency, Shawnee, in the contact area. All the unseen work of the support players, the forwards coming in, cleaning out. So it's on a plate for that man. And what a start for the All Blacks. Sexton goes up the middle this time round. Barrett's there, and he. Snaps it away, it was Carney setting off after it. Good hands from Barrett. Back, stay, stay. Oonga, okay, right. setting it high, down towards his opposite number. It's Sexton back for Ireland. Sexton, dropped there by Reese, Just over halfway, Murray. Tipped on by Omani. 
Murray pleading for a penalty. Hurdles no, over the top of Reed. there. He was moving, he was going. Back towards the traffic they go. It's a thumping tackle that goes in. Stops Ireland on the spot. Henshaw. Checking. Henshaw Checking. put down. Anything off the ball. Check for me, okay? Both teams so proficient at getting through their phases. Yeah. Scrappy though on that occasion for Ireland. Penalty Held advantage. up a touch. Brought in nicely by Healy. Black, yeah? And the penalty Penalty goes to the men in green. Yeah, Ireland are hammering away at this black wall, finding it very difficult to get over the game line. A few little trick plays to get in the outside. Great read from Sebo Reese on the right hand side. Yeah, tackle without the ball there. Good decoy run by James Ryan. Brings it to the referee's attention as well that he's been taken out by Cody Taylor. I'm going to wait for him to do his races. He's a little bit lucky, though, Martin. There's a couple of times I've jammed in on defence. Adi Sabir was the one that got Great, caught out on that occasion. Cheers, boys. Just behind the back moves there from Ireland, but very, very good so far. Hasn't come to fruition yeah. with regards to points. Looking very good on those wide channels with those decoy runners. Yeah, Seven Reese Time just helped his back row mate out there, just jumped in and timed the tackle at perfection. Just stopped them from getting on the outside, but a great opportunity now for Ireland. Yeah, I'll wait for you, didn't you, ladies He's done way. brilliantly, Moonga. Now they go to work, trying to keep from behind their own line. Barrett, risky stuff, back to Moonga. Moonga, who did a super job of keeping it in the field of play. Stay there, stay and there, And opposing stay there. fly half. No, it's Sexton, not. who couldn't find touch, goes to the air. Carney gives chase. Carney looking to outlead Barrett, can't do so. Bodie says, I'll take the free kick. And that looks up and pops it in behind. Oh, it's clever work from Bowden Barrett. Yeah, just watch his skill as well from Richie Mwanga. It's a great kick from Sexton. He's gone all in for the five metre line, but as long as Mwanga leaves from inside the field of play, brilliant work. Such athletic work from the All Black outside half. On oh, the confidence to do it too, Martin. That situation behind your line, absolutely outstanding. But once again, an Irish throw into the lineup and 100% so far. Yeah, when that left Saxon's boot, he would have thought that's right on the money, but brilliant work from Mwanga. Best. This one right back off the top. Was it lost forward? Yes, it was by Ireland. It was lost forward, lads. It was a tough one for Furlong. He's lost the grip, and it will be another all-black scrum inside the Irish half. Yeah, you cannot. Good pressure from Retallick. Cannot make basic errors at line no time against this New Zealand team forward, and give okay. them peel, field position, give them attacking opportunities. So they've shown already only 15 minutes into this game we'll how lethal the they are boys. when they go through the phases. Yeah, yeah, we really yeah, need, yeah, do need a defensive yeah, set here, Ireland. There's a lot of hands on hips after that mistake. It's Keep very quiet to too. An evident sideline in the back line in their team, so they really do need to make their tackles. Watch out for Seba Roos just hanging around warmer. And a couple of stunning set piece plays through Paul Sages did the All Blacks. Mixed up. Five, they work from the set piece so nicely. Smith it is Reese bouncing around open side now. Sliding in behind Moonga. Good use. Sends it out the back for Reese. He goes across to Bridge. Reese to Bridge. George Bridge. Three away now. Can they ice it? New Zealand getting close. Ireland come round the corner. Smith looking for his second. He's over. Is it a try? Is it ever for Aaron Smith? Oh, it's lethal from this all black three quarter line. Okay, KT mentioned Seven Roos just floating around inside 10, but he's actually taking it on the outside 13 channel. Keith Earls has gambled. Okay. See him on the outside of the Ireland defence. He's bit and they're away. George Bridge, great cover tackle from Carney. Keith Earls makes up for his mistake, but then just look at the old back numbers, secure the ball, and that man Smith again keeps his patience and he's over for his second KT. Oh, it's an isolation play. As you said, Earls is the one who's looking at it. Bowden Barrett coming around. They don't see the back door through Sevu Reese. The pass out to George Bridge works okay. so effectively. George Bridge backs his pace. I thought he was in here. The come in, defence, Ells gets back, but then it's just really the smart play. Look, he just reads, there's no defence to the left, and he goes to Aaron Smith. He is the lead. Yeah, fantastic ball from Jack Goodhue. He knows, can't see Severus, but he knows he's going to be there. Just 
passes the ball into space. And once they cut you the all backs, you're in trouble. 100 from the tee tonight, Richie Munger. Open the scoring with the penalty goal for the All Blacks. We have a blood for... Uh, Threw over the additional two off the back of Aaron Smith's first try and looking to repeat it here from wide out left. Long up. Away it goes and there's another two points on the board for Richie and New Zealand. Yes, relentless from this All Black team. Aaron Smith, as sharp in mind as ever, gets over for his second, but it's the work done in midfield. And again, it comes from, it comes from an island mistake, Shawnee, in the line-out, giving New Zealand two, that two. scrum two and that attacking opportunity. Yeah, Robbie he, Henschel's, sorry, Martin, just gone off with another blood bin, so he's been replacing Jersey 23 by Lum. Sevilla. He grabs it, and now just... Punches it back in the defence. Okay, that looks high, that tackle. It was. It was all up around Adi Sevilla's neck. And if there's no real advantage here for the All Blacks, we'll head back to the mark. We will. No advantage. 13 will green around the neck. Call B. Will it just be a penalty? Carlton Anna. Oh, yeah, I think so. There's no malice or intent the in there. Tries to go around the shoulders initially and just sinks up a little bit high there. Wraps him around. So penalty only, I think. Well, it's an, if you neck roll at the ruck, it's generally a yellow card. Yeah, it's, it's such a great area, that one. In Ringrose's defence, he sort of got in position above Ardi Sevilla, and Ardi Sevilla's put his sort of head under his arms, and he's no way for Ringrose to go, but just Ardi Sevilla's leg drive. It's just phenomenal in contact. He just keeps pumping those legs, gains that extra three or four metres. And again, look at this, just from another like, mistake, really, from the high tackle. They're straight back on the attack, and somebody Inside. needs to put the finger in the dam if you're Ireland at the minute, trying to stop this all back machine. Sevilla out left to the front, great read that was by Amani. Super steal at the front. Oh, he needed that, didn't he, as well, Shawnee? Needed somebody to come up big, and that's great work from Amani at the front. Murray, sing it down towards Reese. Reese goes up. A couple of the chasing defenders were checked off their runs. No issues though for the All Blacks. Moonga, wide now for Barrett. Lynette Brown, he opened them up beautifully on, against on, on. Namibia. Show the player of the match in that clash was quite brilliant. Look at Retallick playing scrum half, just rips that one across the park to Goodhue. He connected with Barrett on the inside. Lynette Brown, Reed looks up, drives himself into a couple of Irish tacklers. And they get all over him, a touch isolated, that's excellent, the breakdown from Van der Fleer, yeah. and he had help. Yeah, it's two big moments from that man there, Pete Omani stole the line out inside the Island 22, and that time gets his head over the ball to win the penalty, a crucial penalty, because the All Blacks are looking ominous, keeping it tight, winning the physical battle, going wide, the passing is on the button, KT, and they're here to play. Yeah, I think the platform's been laid so far by the forwards are keeping Ireland off balance. Here's the nice competition in there. Just steps right in front of Adi Savia. Doesn't get much better than that, Martin Williams. I see his smile as he goes up. Yeah, it's great work from Amani. One of the best in the world defensively in the lineup. And then showing his skills in the contact area. Need something, they need a score. They need to get something on the board island from this attack. Amani brings it down. Ring rose. Finally, they get some possession here, Ireland. Henderson crashes it forward with a good run. Murray, best, lays it off. Away from the captain. Earls came in, though, and got creased by Reed. It wasn't the sort of part of the part you want to be in if you're a winger with Reed. And his forwards buddies lurking. They got all of Earls, and now it's Bridge. Getting it up off the deck. For Sevilla, and again, post contact. The meters are vital. Lost now, lost now. Hard earn. And they play. always arrive from Artie. Kane. Goodhue. Goodhue holds it up for Barrett, who angles back in. Still with Goodhue. Tips it on to Reed. He goes back in field to Moonga. 
Reload, reload. Well, he come round the corner. Still in. Healy thought Christmas had come early. But Nigel Owen says, uh -uh, I'm the Grinch. No good. Not clearly out. Right in front of Nigel Owen as well. The ball, as far as he's concerned, is now. Let's just see if it's no, it's clearly, in the clearly in front of Kieran Reid's highmost foot there. Just desperation from Kian Healy. At the minute, they cannot live with the pace of New Zealand. The offloads from the floor, the speed of ball in the contact area for Aaron Smith. They just cannot keep up with all backs. And on the flip side, when they've got the ball, Ireland is slow, it's pedestrian. Easy reads, big hits from, and it's total dominance for New Zealand in this opening 26 minutes. Time out. Just that. Wait, Blood Banner's out. back for Ireland, Robbie Henshaw coming back onto the field, and Lama takes his place, but it's just, when it's a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one tackle, the All Blacks are looking for their offload straight Time away, on, they've got to get more numbers to slow the pill down at the tackle Ireland. Off the top, Kane, Smith, wide for up. now they go crossfield with a kick to Bridge. Bridge pulls it in, it's an easy grab for Bridge, he's been busy down that left-hand side. Moonga. Retallic, lovely nut for Kieran Reid, who almost got through. They go tight again, this time around it's Kane. Smith having another look, getting it up off the ground for Whitelock, who somehow brings it in. Long up, Retallic, hit well by Stunder. Long up, short on options, so he shapes the kick then. Almost gets his nose through the line. Yeah, they've got no width on this right hand side, New Zealand. So they're going to have to keep this tight. Expect the power play from the forwards again. Reading of the 22. Ireland with the counter. Dominating with ball in hand here, the All Blacks. Soaking up minute after minute with it tucked under their arms, nearing the post again. Moody. Moody bounces into a couple. And lost. Thank you. Lost on the ground. Lost well, control. One Are of the first mistakes up? by this All Black lost team in this control. first 27 minutes. Hardly severe. Hey, hey, just hey. took his eye off the ball. Looking for those pick and goals. But Island are really under the pump. Time out. Here we go. Again, they can beat you up, challenge you in so many ways. They want to keep it tight. Great kick pass from Moonga, as you mentioned. George Bridge has been George Bridge has been superb in this opening half hour. That man as well, the skipper Kieran Reid, runs that line brilliantly. Trust me to see the knock on. Just run out, out the patience, yeah. severe. I, I know. I appreciate where you're coming from, but yeah. And a well-deserved breather for both teams. Yeah, it's great call, and the right one from Nigel Owens here. Amani making a nuisance of himself at the ruck time, and Kieran Reid's the same. We just need to calm things down, be a bit more patient, as you said, Martin, and just be a bit more accurate. Green, yeah. So it was 3 0 early on for New yeah, yeah. Zealand, and then it was Aaron yep, Smith yes, times video. two with a couple of five pointers. Moong has done the rest with the boot as well to and set up this 17 point tight. lead but, uh, for New Zealand problem, over just, uh, Ireland. Just give me, just get the bind out. Please. You're not pulling down anyway, but just try and. Uh, uh, yeah. No, no, it's fine. It's not a problem. But just be yeah. careful, it doesn't it's come down. It's a whirlwind, isn't it, for this Irish team? It's open 28 minutes, just this whole question would they be rusty new zealand haven't really okay, had a yeah, test I'm, since yeah, that yeah, opening yeah, weekend look, against south africa obviously the italian gave us call off but they've hit the ground running i'm looking for it yeah. all is well with yeah, yeah Armani. Okay. Got, i'm quite low but there's 50,000 here a bit louder than me boys just keep it going, please, OK? When you're ready, I'll put the time on, all right? I love that he's got his post-refereeing okay. career sorted yeah. as an after-dinner speaker. He, he, he's got his lines. I mean, he's 20, 30 ready. years on the till oh. with that sort of chat. His lines are ready. They are prepared before the game. Don't you worry about you can't, that. But Mark Williams, you can't coach it. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> Crouch! Well, we've got our fourth commentator with us tonight, with Nigel on board. Superb ref. And as... as, 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 as an ex-player, that's what you want as well. You just want communication from the referee and a bit of empathy. Oh, it's a Welsh Test Centurion, nice. Martin Stay Williams. Carl Tanana is sideline. I'm Sean Maloney. We're delivering you all the action from Tokyo Stadium. There it is. New Zealand doing it nicely for the moment. 
Plenty of time though for Ireland to work themselves back into the contest. Van der Fleer, up over the 22, Murray, hooking it over the top, Barrett calls for it, and Reese says, no problems, I'll swing into attack through the middle. Reese with his lightning feet trying to get through a couple, does so. Reese somehow holds his feet and gets away from Leonard Brown, it goes back in field, he was looking for Sevilla, but it was out in front now. Island on the counter, Carney over to Sexton. Van der Fleer put down by Kane. Quick recycle, nice work from Ireland. Now New Zealand go in, they go in hard. In defence. Furlong with a steadier. Ryan. Last. New Zealand over the top, but yes, losing their feet, the called out of it. Fine. Sexton's had enough, he goes to the air. There are three All Blacks back though, Barrett's one of them and he pops for Bridge. Bridge with his own quick feet. They are lightning both sides of the park, the All Blacks. White lock. <laughs> Ireland doing a good job though of isolating on occasion, getting over and causing issues for New Zealand. Yeah, they've got a lead with it twice there. Through the gate. 12. Loose kick from Conor Murray initially, but just watch this man. He's got no way to go, Sever Reese. Goes back Hurry to up, his own wing, in. makes the break. Great support from Leonard Brown. If this goes to Hardy Surveys' hands, you think he's in, but it's a loose pass. Here's the pressure from Kane on Sexton. <coughs> totally legal. Going after the ball like any good seven on an open set, uh, on an outside half. I tell you what, those very evident sideline, this Irish the team, are really Captain, struggling with the you. pace that the All Blacks are playing. That high tempo from the Blacks, they're looking very fresh, but this Irish team walking to this line out very, very slow. Yeah, you look at the possession stat, 62% to New Zealand. And most of the ball defensively takes so much out of you, mentally as well as physically, when you're playing New Zealand. They ask so many questions of you. And at this moment, not many answers from Ireland. Good take again from Omani Sexton. Van der Fleer punches it forward. Gonna hold up there for Carney. It's gonna fall for the All Blacks. Barrett sweeps into action. Bowden Barrett throwing it ahead. Bowden Barrett finishes it off. The All Blacks machine is purring in Tokyo. I just think this from nothing. Ireland have created the opportunity. I think that Joe Owens is just going to have a little look at this. Whether it was knocked on. It's worth us checking here, I think. Um, yeah, we'll just have a look. Yeah, our own decision is a try. Because it didn't look like a knock on, but we never know. So we want to make sure we're in a big game at this point. Yeah, we'll have a look now. The on field decision is a try. Yeah, the on field decision is a try. They actually created the opportunity on the outside. Ireland just got. A miscommunication between Sexton and Carney. How does this ball? There we are. If he stays wider, Carney just off his head, Severis. Nothing wrong with that. And the pace of Mwonga, Bowden Barrett, once it's a foot race, is the only one winner. And there's one thing, Graham, please, I want you just to make 100% sure for me. Yeah, go on. I'm oh, sorry, do you want to check the ground in? We have the ground in. The ground, um, oh. I believe it came off his head. Yes, correct. The guy who kicked it was not in front because. The green player was driven, was driven backwards, but I want you to check that for us, please. Okay. This... You need the wide angle to see um, whether he was always in front of the ball coming off the head. Okay, he's coming down. Here we go, there's the tackle there. Off his head was Moanga in front back of the ball. Right. When he kicked, when that hit his mid, when it comes off Sever Reese's head, the question is, right. is Moanga out to Is he in front? Several Reese. Yeah, he gets back behind he's got back the ball, there, so he's back yeah. on no, top. Back, the ball, so it's a man, but can you confirm that it comes off his head or not? It does, yes, I can confirm it comes off his head, and therefore the hands of Green release the ball. So and the, the ball definitely touches the head of the black player. Yes. Okay, so therefore we cannot allow the try because the no, guy... No, no, sorry, his head touches the hands of the green player. The black player never touches the ball. OK, so the try is good, you tell Yes. Me. Never yes. touches the head? No. 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 Uh, so his head touches Green's arm, yeah. OK. Yeah, Graham Hughes. No 
five lines have a quick Sorry about the time, but I think it's worth explaining this to you. We've checked everything. It doesn't come off the hand, it doesn't come off the head. The guy is on side. The TMO has checked everything and the try is good, okay? It doesn't come off the head, no. Okay, awards to the mark and awards the try. It's good for Bodie Barrett. So Graham Hughes clearly explaining that Severis's head never touches the ball. He just touches Sexton's hand, which forces the ball to spill. And in that case, Richie Mwanga is not offside and just too sharp, too quick. Good footballing skills from Bowden Barrett. Just thought they might have just squirted off the right, but too much pace. It's a long way back, KT, for Ireland. Well, it's a transition that the All Blacks are just so good at, and teams know that if you're going to turn the ball over in front of them, they just go from defence to attack focus, so quickly, and Bowden good. Barrett says, that's one for you, Grandad. Long up has nailed everything in sight tonight. Four in from the right-hand touchline to make it a 24-point lead after half an hour. Wong Art, this time around, it is off to the left, so it stays. New Zealand 22, Ireland get a score. Yeah, just how sharp they are in transition, as KT says. Actually created the opportunity, no, that's a frustration from no, Ireland point of view. They created check, the gap on the outside. Check. Carney just runs an inside we'll line. checking everything, OK, I promise you. Great defence, right second right. step in from Seven Reese, which has saved New Zealand. Too sharp. That's New Zealand three quarter Thank line. You. Down towards Reese, he's hungry for work. Seven Reese. He's pinned Stay. just short of the 22. Hughes. Smith with the exit. Has just enough on it. And we'll have another Irish line out throw. Yeah, been scrappy the last two line outs, Ireland. Just see the, the body language, so difficult. So much hope coming into this game. Need their leaders to really step up now, Ireland. Just create a spark. Maybe it's Ring Rose, maybe it's Earls. Somebody to do something against this whole black machine. Get them back into this one. To the middle, the line out is functioning superbly for Ireland. Murray, back short side, lost. Turned over Leave it wise, thank you. and handed back here it's lost on nine. to the All Blacks. Yeah, he looks frustrated, Joe Schmitch. Usually, I learned attention to detail well, second. And the ball was done very keenly, but I would be again, coming and making sure that we've seen so often from okay. Ireland over, you, over the years. Well, not just not on the yes, button, yes. just off it, but a split second. Well, an easy ball for New Zealand, let off the hook. He's a class act, doesn't he? Connor Murray takes it nine times out of ten every day of the week. But you just spoke about it before, Martin, the fatigue factors, the amount of tackles that Ireland have had to make in this first 35 minutes has been immense. And just said a little bit of time, a little bit of fatigue at the minute. He won't be happy. Rory McIlroy, four-time major winner in the world of golf. And... Crunch! Proud Elster man, loves his rugby, Rory McIlroy. Bind! Be very disappointed with the opening 35. Hold it there, please. Hold it up. Keep it up. Hughes! Smith. Moonga, who's directed play beautifully. Good cue. Industrious as always. Moody. Into tackle it nice and now they okay, good. rifle it deep and low. The All Blacks returned off the Stay boot green. there of Carney. Hold on. Barrett. Barrett gliding across the park. Barrett. Barrett in behind for himself, looking for the bounce, and it almost sat up for him as well. Not on black. Would have been an interesting run to the line if Barrett had have held on. Now with Ireland though. That's Henshaw. Away, Black! You can really hear the Vantage venom over. going into these tackles through the effects, Mike. Oh, Vantage Nigel Owens' chest, and now it's lost again. Smith caught high there by 
Connor Murray. What really hard. Take advantage, it's the tackle of his high with you, okay? Even though he's low, he's still around the net, okay? I appreciate that. Yeah, this man, you know, lots of debate Wait. about moving him to 15, but he is such a threat Belly in that backfield, such a visionary ball in hand, got so much pace that neck, time, okay? just isn't quite set up for him. Okay? Just shows you, you kick loosely, you're in trouble, but this probably sums up Ireland's night so far. Just basic skills, yeah, basic miscommunication, over, over here. spill, just desperation from Mark Conor Murray. Doing, and yet another opportunity for New Zealand, deep in the... Oh, he's missed. It's a very rare mistake off the boot of Richard Moonga. Just slice that one out to the right. We had Rory McIlroy on screen a moment ago, just on the subject of yeah, there's a slicing and hooking him. Piping him. Well, most of all, he's a straight down the middle in fairness, aren't they? There's not many new shots. I'm right in saying yeah. that he's playing with Brian O'Driscoll. They play one hole each on Monday, a par three. So I think Brian, the great Brian O'Driscoll, has paid up with Roy McIlroy. Yeah, I Brian Habana's with Matsuyama. Yes. Georgie Gregan with Jason Day. And Mike Tindall with Tiger Woods. So they get to play one par three with those four boys in a skins tournament in Tokyo on Monday. Martin Williams, name missing from the starters list. Yeah, no, yeah. Need a Welshman, don't we? I can't. Can Woozy, Woozy come back on tour? <laughs> I've organised some lily putt, man. I've organised some lily putt for us. Oh, there we yeah. go, mate. Some crazy Bang. golf, yeah. <laughs> it's much more your style, Carlton Anna. Okay. Two to play in this first Keep half. It has been all New Zealand up by 22. No. Three that tries in total. Two to do. No, Smith, one, two, Bowden Barrett. Now the free kick for Ireland at scrum the time. second offence is the bind by Green. Yeah, I think they'll just take the, take the scrum again, Ireland. Try your knee on the ground. Up. Try and come up with something just before half time, some sort time, of strike the play. Was the second offense. The free kick was chasing your feet, stability, please, okay? And knee off the ground, please. Yeah, it's Bundyaki, Jordy Murphy. Let's take, let's take the pressure, the please. The rest, the non sort of 23 from Ireland, they look disconsolate, disappointed. It's just been second best by a long margin in this in the shoulder, first half. Oh, Shoulders, please. Crouch! Right. Bind! Set! Hold it there. Good. Keep it up. Keep the pressure up. Stay nine. Murray pops it in. Spins round the back, and now he demands more from his forwards. They edge it ahead, but now they get it out of the back. Here's Murray on the loop. Putting him behind and overclubbing a touch. Have a line out throw, and it should be, and it is Cody Taylor who goes in and sends it. Yeah, Conor Murray's pleading with the linesman that it took the flexion off a New Zealand pin as their line out. I'm checking up touch by. Uh... Yeah, I think this could be Maury Best. Touch by Black, yes, or Green Ball, yes. Yeah, it is Maury. Yeah, just sticks his right boot out. There's, there's a way you're asking, OK? Thank you. No, that is not that strong. No, not for me, no. Both sides just around and up and ball away. I wasn't playing at bat, not for me, no. Nothing clear in that scrum. Some signs initially from Ireland there as they put to set the light down that right-hand side. Boot repair yeah, from no, Pete Romani. No, I know, but just yeah, the are telling us. Uh, KT mentioned earlier on, they are creating a bit of space on the outside, but just not quite the execution. The last chance just before half time, just to take something into the shed with you, just to give you a little bit of hope. That's a good gap. Stay there. Come in. We need it to meet the gap. Good. Best to the back. Got it to Ryan. Give it up. The Irish fans here in Once. Tokyo desperate for some first half points. Stay back. Initial counter from New Zealand is good, but now Ireland move forward. Warner rinses up, puts down Sexton. Stunder. But his side for carries in the win against Samoa. Here's Murray. And that win just last week. New Zealand with the benefit of an extended rest in the lead up to this second 
quarter-final. No, he fell to the ground. I saw that. He just fell to the ground. Just play on for me that way. Sexton he on just the hold left, the even the holding it up for Ringrose. Reed all over the top of that one, looking for the seal, can't get it. Henderson. And a Brown and Reese combined to put him down. Sevilla blown out of it. Thrown it afterwards. But penalised. Sexton. Splays that one off the side of the boot. Italic's back. No advantage. So we'll head back to off the mark. Sevilla the man. After. Who gets nailed and what's the call here, Mark Williams? I think you go for the corner, I think three points does you no good. Artie Sevilla, great position initially, then he's cleaned up well by Ryan. Just has a second goal at the you ball. Let it go away. Not gives the 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 I think we've got to go to the corner. They've got to go to the corner here. Shawnee, three points. Does you very little good. Okay, they nail that one deep. On looks, Joe Schmidt. If it stays like this, it will be his last test in charge of Ireland. The much loved Joe Schmidt will be wheeling his big men home here. Injury time in the first half. The liner has been excellent. Down it comes. New Zealand counter hard though. They stop it initially. Pulls away the captain. He edges it back across the turn for Murray. Murray up and away. Loosen out the back, still with Ireland though. Murray scanning for options and as he's sitting there thinking, he gets put down for his troubles. Ireland, it's the best. Field position they've had all night. Ball, Best to touch high. Okay, Good job of getting it back though. Now penalty call in favour of Ireland. I want to check another thing here as well. Yeah, I think Nigel yeah. Owens is looking for a tackle yeah. off the ball. Kean Healy was screaming at the referee yeah. that he'd been taken out. Let's just see you tackle off the ball, is it? Captain. Yeah, read on. Captain. Kean Healy, a clear penalty tackle off the ball. So it gives Ireland a second chance at this driving line out. This is what I'm going to check. My TMO has confirmed a tackle off the ball by Black. There's going to be a penalty, but I'm also going to check the entry of six Black into a player on the floor here, leading with a shoulder as well. OK, so that's what I'm going to check. If that's the case, this one will be reversed for that one, otherwise we are sticking here. OK? Oh, no, sorry, side entry by us. Off the floor. So, Graham, we have the tackle off the ball. I want to check Six green here, please, when he came into this rock here, if he led to the shoulder to a player on the ground. It's Peter Mark O'Mahony just... I'm checking the way you came in for that clear out, for the guy was on the ground. No legally That's came in to clean out. So who gets the penalty here, then? Will it go back okay. to the first one? Hang on, yeah, let me show you what he does. I think it's obviously the court. Nigel Owens, yeah. just the corner of his eye. Obviously, yeah. all that yeah. happens so quickly, it's so difficult for a referee, but he's seen something Eight. at the side. Uh, okay, yeah. so we have a technical so that's a clear there. early yeah. tackle, okay. early watch. penalty, um, which... I think it's the one, not this one, it's the one coming up uh, with number six green now, yeah. run it there. It's okay, move I on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, he's just flung on the head, I think he's... Let's just look here you now. There's nothing wrong with that, he's just flopped on, flopped on Joe Moody, I think it is. Play Does he lead to the shoulder or not? He looks... Uh, yeah, I think he does, to be honest. What we think is not good enough, you know, and you a clear picture, does he lead to the shoulder or not? Yeah, no. So you yeah, can't get away with that anymore. It's, yes, it does. No, no, it's, no, no, it's a no. nothing sort of penalty as well. But you, yeah, the only answer to the question yeah, yeah, is, has he led with the shoulder? Which the answer no, is. No, 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 listen yes. up, okay? We have I a tackle with many... the ball, which has been ducked as a penalty. A you can't go into me. a guy in the ground leading with the shoulder. That penalty now is going to be reversed, okay? Back you go, please. Thank you. It's a big First call, one, I think there is so many the ball, with that reversed one into the shoulder of the guy on the ground. Richie Mungo says, 
That'll do, that'll do. They race from the field, both sides do. And at the break, it's a first half shutout from New Zealand over Ireland. The score, the All Blacks, 22, Ireland 0. Welcome back to our coverage from Tokyo Stadium where New Zealand are doing it very nicely through a half of footy. We'll get the team updates on the other side of this when we get them back out and lined up. And it is New Zealand who are up by 22 following tries to Aaron Smith and Bowden Barrett. It has been hard going for Ireland. They went close just before the break that was denied. Nigel Owens instead finding a penalty against the Irish, and that was that for the first half. So into the play comes another Barrett. Scott Barrett joins Bowden out in the middle. And we'll give you the realign 15 for New Zealand in just a second. Aaron Smith with a cracking first 40 minutes on the board. Jonathan Sexton. If there's not enough of Johnny a gap Sexton, the front of the line, no, just stop and then I'll come and stop it. Just wasn't going his way. The run of play for Ireland didn't click. They've still got 40 minutes to try and keep their World Cup hopes alive. Yeah, they might be as well. Ray is good to go. Moving and shaking once more in quarterfinal number two. Ireland v New Zealand from the Tokyo Stadium. It's been all the All Blacks Stay. thus far. Moonga looking for touch, going deep, and it's caught and then edged across the chalk. Whose line-out throw will it be? It'll be a New Zealand throw. Here's another look at it, and it is just carried in a touch by Ireland. So New Zealand comes straight in. A huge result there for Richie Moonga. Barrett goes up. Fingertip control is good at the top. Reese in at first receiver. He had some superb touches. In that first 40, Servu Reese. Barrett. Good cue. Around the corner comes Bowden Barrett on a bridge. Bridge. Angles back towards the defence. Looking sharp again. They've hit it running once more. The All Blacks. Reed. They jump the lids beautifully to open up this big lead against Ireland. And Goodhue puts that one a touch. Now we can just take a moment. I'm sure Maloney. Next to me is Welsh Test Centurion Mark Williams. Sideline is Carl Tanana. KT, what team changes have you got for us? Yeah, just confirmation. Scotty Barrett on for the All Blacks in Jersey 19, replacing Sammy Kane in Jersey 7. He's a viable line out option as well Scotty Barrett I'm done, I'm done. The just probably just needy again just basic errors from Ireland just not functioning line out you know the big talk you need to start well in the second half from Joe Schmidt Stockdale well, takes that. the ball and gives in the line out and at the back as well. New Zealand so, an attack not too good work from Italic just get away with it again I don't think how they are put in the scrum but you'd expect Ardi Sevilla just a slot over into the open side. Scott Barrett. Good then, boys, please. Packed down on the blind side of the scrum Drive for the straight, All Blacks. Okay? Drive square. Okay? Stay square. Control it out. Keep 
the pressure up. Stay close. Good scrum from both forward packs. Murray looking up, work, boys. looking to release the pressure for his team. He clears it just past the 22. Yeah, good solid scrum for both teams. It's been a real good, clean contest in scrum time, but that's a good outcome from New Zealand. Line out on the 22, and they can launch his back line again. Right. To the middle they go. Nice quick ball for the All Blacks. That is lost. Missed the clear knock on there, Nigel Owens. Still with New Zealand. Smith. Sevilla. Leonard Brown. Leonard Brown. Moonga. Moonga driven back. Nice work in defence there from Sexton. And now the hit and hope from Barrett. It's just going to run itself into the end goal and go deep. Back we come for the 22. That's an interesting option, isn't it, from Bodhi Barrett? Comes the a drop goal. Sort of 50 metre drop goal with nothing on. Okay, boys, next one needs to take now, please. Thank you. Johnny Sexton. With the 22 metre restart. Goes shallow. Up goes Barrett. Great take from Barrett. Scott Barrett wrestled to the ground. Good Hugh. Sevilla. Nice and deep out to the left. It's a lovely skip pass from Barrett. Sits up here for George Bridge. George Bridge. Again takes a couple with him. Bowden Barrett. Moody, Moody, lovely offload for Goodhue, Goodhue, 10 away, still going for Smith, Bowden Barrett straightening, best puts him down, 10 away now the All Blacks, Smith surveying, back for the man who got them moving deep into the Irish 22, Moody, Retallet, punches it a little closer, a touch isolated though, and best is over the top, just cleaned out, Whitelock, Smith, dummy, Smith, almost through. Pops it up here for Goodhue. Away for Leonard Brown. Reese out wide, screaming for him. Four Let's away go. now. Touch slow for but... New Zealand. La, la, la. That one oh, is God. knocked down across the ground, and How's we're going to head tackle? back. It was just a loose arm. How's he with the tackle? Touch In with the here. tackle oh, as God. Nigel Owens surmises, yeah, okay. and a thrilling run of play comes to an end. No try conceded, though, by Ireland. Oh, they're hanging on Ireland. Brilliant work from Scotty Barrett from the restart. But it's just a masterclass in offloading and keeping the momentum, the continuity going in. In attack and play, the support, they're all come through with ball in hand. Brilliant line from Moody, great support line from Goodhue. Yeah. Thought they were over for all money, but it's just constant. Ireland can't slow the ball down. Standard eventually with great line speed quite, knocks the ball out of Laulala's hands, but they're hanging on KT Island. 100%, they need to. They cannot allow New Zealand to score any points. They have to be the first to score. But you just feel the All Blacks are just so quick to seize opportunities. Joe Moody halfway through a hole, given their pass, it's a real staple of this All Blacks team, the way their front rollers and front five would have to say, have got great ball skills and first receiver. Yeah, just seeing that stat just come up on screen then, similar amount of tackles made by either team, but New Zealand only missing one, Ireland 12, and just keep the good stability in the scrum, New Zealand, as we know, once they get behind you in defence, they are so clinical and so difficult to stop. He's had a big game, the big man, Joe Moody, carried really hard, such a big man, Big physical presence, okay, scrummage as well. As you made a tackle, carried so well. The thing is too about Joe Moody. Hardy is that he coming to this World Cup with not much game time under his belt, so he's had to get back up to speed, and he's done it just at the right time for the All Blacks. Nibble Lalala on the other side as well, in the same boat, coming to this under an injury cloud. But come good. So it's all about business, all about peaking at the right time in these knockout stages. New Zealand, it's ominous. Well, you're ready, boys. Showing them the superb okay? performance earlier on this afternoon okay. against Australia. Time on. New Zealand laying down there, Marcus, so far in the first 45 minutes. A lot of space to the right hand side as well. Sebi Reese is directly behind the scrum, but look out for him to get a one on one. Very dangerous. Keep a stand, just be a shoulder. Let's shoulder. see what they can create, Carlton Anna. Crouch! Reese in behind, it can distribute really nicely as well. Can Sebi Reese? 
keep the pressure up. Smith with a feed. Now he creeps far right. They go to Moonga. Moonga. Steadies into the arms there of Henshaw. Barrett, as he does so well, does the grunt work that's on the tail there of Whitelock. And now Ireland muscle up. No change to our half-time score. Always backwards. Scott Barrett going low. Best over the top. Just slowing it up, buying some time for his defensive line. If there to be any hope of staying alive in this contest, they've got to shut this down. Do Ireland. New Zealand just keep coming and coming. Now, looking short side. Wide for Bowden Barrett. Four away. He didn't affect the ball. Aaron Smith. Scott Barrett. Away for Reed. What is that? Smith. Sevilla. Sevilla. Dummies and goes himself. Six out. Smith oh, having another look. Lethal in close. Lynette Brown. Ireland defending well. Moody lets it go across his face to Reed. Back to Taylor. It is execution A1 from the ABs. Oh, it's just efficiency, isn't it? Patience. They change the speed of the play. They control the speed of the play. Pick and go, pick and go, and then. Another fantastic line from Kieran Reid. Defending for their lives, Isla making the hits. Arnie Sevilla again trying to breach the game line, going low. Healy and Henderson bring him down, but watch this line. And the presence of mind from the captain, Kieran Reid. Just hits the ball at pace, gets his arms free in the tackle. The awareness, the support play, in complete control the whole time Kieran Reid in that contact, yeah, contact yeah, situation. Yeah. And the hook is over. I don't know you. You are. Moonga with an absolute gimme. Bang in front. Clips it through. And New Zealand step up their timeline, heading towards semi-final number one. Uh, superb to watch, really is brilliant play from the All Blacks. That man there, Kieran Reid, leading by example. He doesn't want this to be his last game. And Cody Taylor with his 11th try in 49 tests. What a strike rate for a hooker. Change in the front row too for New Zealand. Ireland Jersey 17, offer to Mufasi, 18, Angus Tatabal, and also for Ireland Dave Kilcoin is on a Jersey 17. Okay. To behind, boys, please. Time on. That one slapped back in the air, good work. Ryan Stockdale getting through and getting it back for Ireland, but then it's fallen in the arms of New Zealand. Barrett. Stay 18 there. Okay. Chasing Bridge. Lovely low grassing tackle from Lynette Brown. Furlock. Catches the attention oh, there get. of Nigel Owens. Leave it, boys. Thank you, too. Thank you. Get up. Get to get. Thank you. All of 30 hey. seconds and concedes the pen. Like Just a bit oh, over, nine, over eager, the big man. Come to the rock. You can't touch these scrum arms. They're precious beasts. He's done work. He's done really well with the counter up, but just couldn't help himself to pull Murray in. Right in front of Nigel Owens, we see you. Good oh, carry from Omani. Swastu yeah. Gafasi fights no, well, the contact. He like again down here, he could be in trouble. Just takes Conor Murray out, and as the referee okay. is telling you, you can't do that. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> is there anything more lethal than a Nigel Owens finger wag? Finger. <laughs> but a few of them in my time. Tyke Burns come on jersey 19, also for Ireland. Boys replacing Henderson in jersey 4. 10. Best with the throw, and it's great off the top again for Ireland. Sexton loops around. Hingshaw drags his side forward. Sexton again, tucks it off the hip to Earls. Murray, Sexton, quick shuffle to Ringrose. 
No! There is a new man, Fresh Legs, Kilcoin. Taylor with the tackle. Short side again, Sexton. Across the park they go, but the men in the black jerseys aren't missing. Their first up shots, not yet. We're going to keep it perfect here. Ireland go to the air, it's shallow. Barrett goes up. Can't Is hang on, it falls green? for Leonard Brown. Leonard Brown trying to spin his way. Vantage knock on green in the air. From Henshaw. Barrett. Vantage over. Tracking it towards touch, doesn't have enough on. Sexton. A touch isolated there, Ireland, and New Zealand win the penalty. He's on his feet. Number six is off his feet afterwards. Then you pull him down. Oh, we've seen the Rasmataz in attack from New Zealand, but defensively as well. They're so organised, they're so physical this evening. Seva Reese has put in some superb hits over on that right hand wing, and that time he's helping his forwards out, getting over the ball and winning a penalty in the contact area. Brilliant work from Seva Reese. Yeah, there's twice he's jammed in, isn't he, Martin? You spoke about to stop the attack of the Irish team, and on this occasion, he goes down, gets over the board. He loves the physical, physical nature. Does Seve Reese absolutely outstanding please. for a small man? 13. And Sonny Bill Williams is going to come on 13. for New Zealand. And Jersey 22, going to replace Jack Goodhue, and also Lama is coming back onto the field. Like going to replace Carney. It's good work from the New Zealand back three, isn't it? Bowden Barrett going really low, bringing him down early, allows Reese to get over the ball, wins the penalty. That man there, he's had a good evening, Jack, a good hoop, but this is the last person you want to see when you're 29 points to nil down. Sonny Bill coming on at 12. Reese at first receiver. Barrett. Barrett. Every involvement oozes class from Barrett, and he sends his team towards the Irish 22 again. Smith, deeper for Leonard Brown, jinx off that left foot. Smith, Sonny B. Williams, Ritalik delays the pass. Forwards, Silky with their skills tonight. Speaking of Silky, Sonny B. Williams almost frees his arms in contact. Barrett, hacks it into the 22, picked up well, and now tied ahead. Lama, who makes the tackle as well. Rock. Smith, reading the numbers, looks up and just clips that one in touch. He's having some kind of night, that man, Aaron Smith. Yeah, he's controlling and dictating the pace of play, where they play the game. It's a brilliant kick from Aaron Smith. Just puts the Irish team on the back foot again. Got to force them into winning the line up the exit. Is Rob Carney there. Difficult, difficult evening for this Irish back three. Will Blacks collapse that one legally. It's hard graph coming away from their own danger zone. Ireland down to Bridge. Tackled by Earls. Tungafasi. Longer. Sonny B. Williams keeps it alive. They swing it into action down that right hand side. Sever Reese on the delayed switch. Beats a couple more. Sever Reese still trucking. Sever Reese 10 out now. Looking for runners. It's Reed. Rips it long. Hang should do it. Taylor already has one. Pops it across to Bridge. Bridge. Getting ever closer. Sevilla, Bowden Barrett, dummies, ducks under a couple. Smith, good quick ball. Sonny Williams. Hit low there by Henshaw. Scott Barrett, looking to emulate brother Bodie, who got a first half five pointer. Dungafasi. It's a nice stop shot on Big Offer. Tavau, Tavau, happy just to 
Still some cheeky meters in close, and now the All Blacks fans find their voice. Looking to well and truly put it to bed. The cohesion between forwards and backs has been something else through 55 minutes, but on that occasion they get a touch isolated, and the penalty goes to Ireland. Good defence from the men in green. Not a problem. Yeah, just hang on there. I think it was a cut to Nori Best who manages to get over the ball and wins the steal, and Retallick is penalised for going off his feet. They've been so efficient in that area. New Zealand, once they've got in the 22, they've just dictated the pace of play. Dictated the contact area, but great work from Rory Best to win that penalty and just relieve the pressure for just the split second. But they can hurt you in so many ways. That time it was Sonny Bill getting his arms free. Just see you. Penalising Metallica for going off his feet. He was in contact with the big man to the That's the last the part that he's going to play in the game, Bobby Metallic, as he substituted for Matt Todd. What sort of shock will that bring in the full pack, Carlton Arna? Yeah. Probably you'd expect Barrett to go win to the centre and roll and then Todd to go on the side with Salvia. Real dynamic player, Matt Todd, isn't he? Real threat over the ball. He's gone. Ireland. Doing all they can, it's loose and in front for six, and he's got to go back and try and tidy up. Look, does Nigel yes, Owens make the ball this? legally on his feet now then. Let that be the end of it, please. Back off green, knock on off black, scrum, green ball. Knock on off black, scrum, green ball. Yeah, he's got a couple of the Irish players in his year, Nigel Owens, just through frustration. Conor Murray saying he's pulled there, but that's... Legal from Scott Murray, he's got his no, hands on the ball, Connor Murray. And then knocked on with you afterwards. And he's got the hands on his ball, he's a free man. He can play on it and it's great. You see the difference in the contact area shown between how the speed of ball that Aaron Smith yeah. is getting and Connor Murray's yeah. digging for the ball, it's being he's spoiled he's and they can't feet, get any attack play going. He takes the ball and knocks it forward. Does it matter? Because once you lift the ball... No, 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 will you listen to me, please? If he's on his feet, once you lift the ball off the floor, the ruck is over. If he knocks a ball, if he knocks that ball back, takes your hand, it's play on. Yes, no, it's over. If he's in the rack and on his feet, it's play on. Yeah, he's been sensational, isn't he? Several Rees with and without the ball. We know what he can do with the ball. He's such an electric carrier. Great footwork, uh, defenders, six beaten. Carries, but what's been most impressive for me tonight is his decision making in defence. He's stepping off his boys? wing. It's some crucial hits. I'm going to turn over to LKT. Yeah, two impact and four winger. That's absolutely money in a tight end such as this. Come sure you're going to get such a luck. We've got a guy who can get over the ball and be so strong because he's got a Come very low no centre of gravity. And the okay. Irish team, I think, just in parts, Marty, but trying to argue the point. That's the, that's the mark. He will take it there. So and Nigel Owens is only okay, always going to be on. one winner. I know it's probably come out of frustration from them. Yeah, absolutely. They've been in. Nigel wins yours, but absolutely all blacks do you, they frustrate you, they make everything a battle. They test you mentally all evening. Crouch. Yeah, you just seen Artie Sevilla's on the side. Crouch! Matt Todd on the other side of the scrum for the all blacks, Scotty Barrett. Mike Lock blocking up. Hold him there, give me that Put that bind up in the boys. Put that bind up. Stay. Murray feeds. They keep it tight and they juice the penalty advantage here as well. Arlen Murray goes himself, runs straight into Matt Todd. Okay, we're going nowhere, you lads. They're back to the mark for the penalty. Yeah, yeah slight dominance there from Ireland with the replacements in the front the row. Good scrum from Kilcoyne. Tag full on. Got the upper hand on the new All Black front row, so it gives them. Okay, Some right. relief to get out of their half and actually play with some ball and put the All Blacks under pressure, but that's a big mistake from Sexton. Bridge. Won't mind if he stays in the field of play, gets a good chase on. It's a well-formed black line out to his right. Great feet, though, from Lama. And then he's tracked by Barrett. 
Scott Barrett, where we get the trifecta of Barrett brothers on the park at the same time again tonight. They made history against Canada, becoming the first three brothers for New Zealand to represent at a World Cup. He's Bowden, right on cue. Bowden Barrett to the air. Long out. And Barrett give chase. Down comes Bowden Barrett. Then put some feet on. Grubbers ahead, but Ireland fly back to tidy up. It's Henshaw who saves his side. Now looking for the angle to find touch potentially here, Ireland. <coughs> Murray Bridge is back. Bridge this time around will let his forwards do their thing at line out time. Yeah, no rush from Bridge when they're 29 nil up. Great work from Bowden Barrett, wasn't it? In the high ball. It's a shift from Aaron Smith. Two tries. Come on. But he's just guided his side so well tonight, Aaron Smith. Rapid from the base of the rut and really causing Ireland some issues. Barrett, Scott oh, Barrett pulls it down. Give it up. Say more, it's well say formed. more. From 27 out now, they creep inside the Irish 22. Ireland round the side. Perinara well, peels away with it. it. Now Richmond with the cross field. Bullet for Reese. Cuts back in field. Seven Reese getting close. TJ Perinara away for Tom. Tom Tran New Zealand. That's unstoppable. It's black machine this evening. It really is. Okay. Brilliant work from the old black pack to get Wonga on the front foot to put the kick pass into Seven Reese. He works his magic, you thought you're in, he was in, Seven Reese, great scramble offence from Ireland, but again, here we go, just look at this, just such a well-oiled machine, controlling the ball, 10, 15 metres, gets him on the front foot, brilliant execution from Mwanga, with his cross-field kick, Seven Reese doesn't have to break stride, you think he's in, superb cover defence, but just watch the speed of ball again, TJ Perinara, it's hard too easy, well, it's a skill they really have perfected that kick pass just to get outside the Russian defence. Tom was actually at the base of that rolling more, went down to dead, got up. He's such a hard worker as Matt Todd put himself in a position. Great score. They can just hurt you in so many ways. We've seen the pick and go, the keep it tight. We've seen the kick pass, we've seen the driving line out. We've seen electricity from the back three Bowden Barrett Reese Sunbridge been a complete performance from New Zealand this evening long up keep looking hard in boys okay ten in for the right hand touch line and it is dragged away to the left the score 34 nil in favour of New Zealand, and it's another Barrett. It's Geordie Barrett Both who joins the party. The board ten number two. That's incredible, isn't it? When he got on, three. Uh, <laughs> Going to be a huge ovation well coming on in the second. Is Rory Best? We coming off and being there. replaced by yeah, oh, yeah. Scannell. There he is, there the legend. Yeah, he's been an absolute legend in Irish rugby. Really okay. has. What a man. Superb leader on and off the field for this Irish team. It's not the way he would have wanted to end his international career or his rugby career. Okay. A take about Rory Best, an unbelievable career. Come on. Johnny Sexton's gone also for the Irish team, replaced by Johnny Carter in 22. Absolute legend number two. Taken on by Scott Barrett, the restart. Perinara, Bowden Barrett. Stay. Okay, on. Jordy. Sets out after it down that right hand side. Let him go! Play on. Not a whole lot doing in behind, and it's the prop to Ungafasi who goes along and tidies up for New Zealand. Bowden Barrett rips it to Bridge. Bridge constantly asking questions down this near side. Runga, Scott Barrett. 
They are looking to really up the tempo late here. It could be a real statement game from the All Blacks as they chase their third straight World Cup. Nigel Owens just a net grown by checks the play. Where is it, Graham? Angus Sarvau with a neck roll. Penalty goes against the All Blacks. 18. You have a neck grab against you, please. Get it down, okay? Neck grab. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's Len Island off the hook there. Angus Tauvau. Just a little bit over eager in the ruck. It is so difficult sometimes when you trying to clean a man out. I think George Bridges standing at Richie Moonga then kept it in. From behind their own line, New Zealand, Bowden Barrett. Having to roll the dice, clear by 34, no problems. Now they settle into it. Hey boys. Long out in the pocket, Perinara. We'll take it away from Richie and gets it to touch. How many times has that ball not gone out off an Irish penalty? Just can't have that in this type of game. I know it's supreme skills, but geez. Kick it into row six. Okay. The whole back three for New Zealand's been really impressive. Please, Bridge. Thank you, wait. Barrett, we know Stay what a special there. player Nobody he is. Nobody moves the ball, comes in, well. we compete. Been outstanding in New Zealand back three. For those of you who love your stats and love your numbers, Ball. I can tell you that Ireland have never been held to zero in a Rugby World Cup game. The biggest of the World Cup has been 24 points. They are desperate to avoid that. Now they take it away. It's a searing run down the left side from Stockdale. Finally, they find themselves close to the New Zealand try line. Across the park to Kilcoin. Equally, the All Blacks will be very happy to try and close this one out and leave them with the duck egg. Punching it in goes Ryan. Good leg drive from Ryan. Stay back. Ball is here. Driven forward well. Ruddick's in there for Ireland. They will take anything. Murray. A sheer the left. The front. The only advantage side. here for Ireland. Murray looking up. Across Six. the park they go to the live wire, the slip feet of Carberry. Ring rose. Not a whole lot more happening out to the right, so they see back to the traffic through Lama. Sammy Williams goes in and let's go with one of his stock standard big hits. Murray, there might be some room in tight. Grub it ahead, surely, surely a try. That kind of sums up Ireland's night. He's got this. Robbie Henshaw, no chings it, it went in, it went straight back out. Oh, it was a great option and execution from Carberry. Finally giving Ireland's crowd something to cheer about. No, but it's He's gone there, Henshaw. As you say, Sean, he just absolutely sums up Ireland's night. Great, 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 great. Great, great, great. Even Rory can't believe it. Number six. He's missed the two footer. The rock was driven back, and you didn't move back with it. Penalty only, hands in front. Jump on. Still with his scrum feed, though, here, Ireland. It's not a cynical offence, it's just a technical offence, OK? Lads, discipline, please. If I think something is uh, will fall down here, no matter what time the score is, some do go, OK? Yeah, in the phone, please. Get back a bit, please. Wait. Shoulder. We've had a excellent scrum, and they stay excellent. Shoulder. Gotta give this Irish crowd huge credit. They've just got Five. still going their 34 points to down. Give it up. 
giving everything to this Irish team, willing them over that try line. The All Blacks get the weight on, was it lost to the back, still with Ireland. This time round he hangs on, this time around he gets it down, Henshaw for Ireland. Oh, deep sigh of relief from that man there, even though they're 34 points down. Made up for his error earlier on, great line, great carry from Stander. Quick ball, one of the first occasions all evening. Once they've gone into the 22, they've had quick ball at rap time. Just see how good hands, good line, just over chasing on the inside the All Blacks. And he's over KT, makes up for his error. Yeah, no one wants to get nilled in a game. And Sean Maloney just spoke about it. They never have, and they won't either. But he's just been so strong. Robbie Henshaw, a real staple in the diet of their back line. Been so good. Great footwork. And they're just showing when they do get one on ones, they are effective. Take the card with the drop kick, doesn't even bother to put the ball down. Let's get the two points on. Just a little bit of pride Let's salvage right. for Ireland, just being second best this evening, not through a lack of effort, just too much quality in this New Zealand team. Owen Barrett takes over the restart responsibilities from Richard Noonga, goes deep with his, and Ireland now. Down by 27. They trailed by 22 at the break. Following the first half Inside, tries yeah, to Inside. Smith, Smith, and Bowden Barrett. Kicked away down a bridge. Bowden Barrett injects himself into the line and bumps into a couple. Now Sonny Bill Williams clears it from the floor. Still with the All Blacks. Scrambling defence at the base of the ruck there from Ireland. They do a great job of shutting down that threat. Now they go to work with ball in hand. Away from their own 22, they come Ireland. Todd with a tackle. Murray hasn't got a whole lot to work with. Everyone's flat and bunched and... Look up and go to the boot. Down to Bowden Barrett with his 21st carry of the night. Over to Geordie Barrett. Geordie Barrett straightens hard and quick. Perinara. Scott Barrett to Bowden Barrett. Leonard Brown. Sunday Williams out wide. Leonard Brown back infield to Perinara who can't hang on. It's gone backwards. But Ireland tidy up. Murray, Murray, clears it one wider, they get it up over there, 22. Oh, Ireland through, burn. Come back. Get them back, boys. Lama. Hotel. Still going, hopping over a couple. Yeah. Ryan. Inside the final 10 we go. Carberry across the line to their try scorer, Henshaw, who's drilled hard and quick as well. Okay, now we lost. We went for it, but we play, yes. Murray. Up for Scannell. Stunder. Yes. And snapped away out. by Sevilla. Sevilla explodes through. Keeps it alive for Coles. Coles to a bridge. It's beautiful. Oh, he really is from New Zealand. Oh, you thought they were in down the right hand side when Anton Leonard Brown gone the outside and failed to find TJ Perinara. But again, Ireland just fighting their way, trying to get out of their own half, their own 22. Turnover ball, that man Sevilla has been another outstanding game for the All Blacks. Comes away with the ball and counter attack, they are so. Clinical. Here we are. He's in, he's over. Angus to about Anardi Survey wins the ball clearly. He's away, gets the ball to the outside. Pace, power, another offload. Great hands. Tank holds as quick as most banks. Gets the offload. And George Britt deserves a try tonight. He's worked tirelessly on this left hand wing. Yeah, don't forget your time now, okay? And it's the end of sports, KT.
Just the ability to get the offloads, the whole running absolutely outstanding. Just getting that great supporting line. You're right, George Bridge has been so good with his hit-ups, creating a lot of havoc on that far side of the field and deserves it. Conversion's good as well. George Bridge, well, I bumped into his parents today, KT, on the train. They were hanging out with Ryan Crotty's folks, and Ryan Crotty's mum said, every time I've been to watch the All Blacks play when they've taken on Ireland in person, they've been beaten. Third time's a charm, she says to me today. Third time's a charm. So the Crotties and the Bridges will be all smiles as they watch on at Tokyo Stadium. Oh, they will be. They've been fantastic tonight. That man there, Arnie Sevilla, has been superb as well. Doing all the hard graft, wins the turnover. And George Bridge, who's done all the hard graft all evening, guess as well as him tonight. Bowden Barrett just slaps it across the park. Looking for Geordie, who flies high. Can't come down with it. Fell awkward. Now it's towed ahead by Ireland. They fly after it through Lama. Lama has been excellent since coming on. We're that tidying up for New Zealand. Penalty Ireland, though. Well, right, McGrath in there trying to hurry things up. If you go there, then you need to move. Quick, please. Fair contest for the ball. Body on the line, Steph, even with move. 75 minutes on the clock, Jordi Barrett going for the... Richie Moanga looks as if he's pulled up there. Which wouldn't be good for the All Blacks, he's had a superb game of 10. That combination has worked an absolute treat for the New Zealand point of view tonight, with him at 10, Jordi Barrett at 15, chopping and changing the, the first receiver. To the front, brought down by Ryan. Scanley's at the back. I know, he's from behind. Now the, the all backs come through and look to collapse it. It's going to squeeze out the back, though, for the Irish. And that's great work down low from Byrne. How did he hang on to that one? Release. McGrath holding it up. Change of the point of attack. You would have trumped as well. That's Ruddick taking it forward. A punch close again. Let's go! Right near where Henshaw went in for their first. It's the forwards. Nearing the line, Ryan at the back. Ryan trying to extend his way over the chalk. Surely they can get it there here, Ireland. Penalty try. Penalty try is the call. Penalty tries a call from Nigel Owens. I'll take him. How they can get him. It's a straight seven. They go on the board for Ireland. Oh, credit to Ireland. They've kept fighting. They've kept plugging away. There's no need to take the conversion if you're Joey Carberry. He wants nine. On field decision. is a penalty try here because he was offside and the guy would have got the ball to the base of the grab post. I agree. And probably a try. So can you check it for me, please? I'm yeah, I agree with you completely. The number. Wait a minute. A number 20 black. Huh? What number? I need to remember here. Number 20, please. It no, is no, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Let me try. Uh, what? Can I speak? Okay. He's clearly offside, and a try would have probably been scored with the base of the post. So number 20, it's a penalty try. Because it's a penalty try, you see yellow card. 20, please. Number 20. Oh, we're happy. We'd all checked it yet. Yeah. It's a penalty try. You came in front, you were never onside, and you prevented a try probably being scored. I appreciate but that's the law on the post, OK? Off you go, please. It's a penalty try. Okay. Another wrapping as well. Seven go on the board, so the margin is now back to 27. And if it stays this way, it will still be Ireland's biggest ever World Cup loss. Yeah. Three to run. Unfortunate start, though, as you mentioned, Shawnee. They kept fighting, they've just been outclassed tonight. This all back team has been an ominous performance. 
The All Blacks grabbing behind. Bowden Barrett chasing after it. And he rides Carberry into touch. Linda Brown looking to play hooker and throw the line out. Now lays it down and it says, come on in here, Dane. You can do your thing. Keep the space, boys, please. with a throw. It's a lovely worked line-out play that connects with Perinara, who's driven on and now a touch right. They've got to get him over the line here. He'll be held up. Held up, lads, over the line. Held up, over the line. OK, so they'll get the feet to the scrum and we can let you know that our player of the match tonight... Yeah, All Blacks been a real powerful performance. Artie Sevilla, Kieran Reid in the back row been outstanding. Back three for New Zealand, Sarah Reese, George Smith have been brilliant, but it's been a tough week for Bowden Barrett. All the All Blacks players wearing the black armband, the passing of his grandfather, but for me, he's the Mastercard player of the match. You know, standing at 15. Give you some numbers to go with his performance tonight. Obviously, carries a lot from the back as fullback. 21 carries tonight, 80 metres made, a few offloads, and us too much in defence. Obviously, had the try as well. Help keep his side out to that 17 point lead. It's a big shift from Bodie Barrett, your player of the match tonight. Handshakes and smiles all around as Steve Hansen is his man. Move ahead to the semis. That's a tough way for that man on screen, Joe Schmidt, who's brought so much to Irish rugby over his tenure. Really has transformed them. Real difficult way to bow out, but he can be immensely proud of what he's done for Irish rugby. He really has been superb. And unfortunately, it's an unfortunate end for his Irish career. Perinara, what can they create here inside the final 90 seconds? Hungry for more. Perinara, at the back it comes. Sends it over to Moonga. There's lots of room out. Wide right. It's Barrett to Barrett. They bring the backyard to the biggest stage of all the Barrett boys. Bowden to Geordie, try New Zealand. Ah, uh, what a way to finish the game from the All Blacks point of view and from those pair, the brothers. This week, all the hard work and the decoy run done in midfield holds the Irish defence, but just watch the execution. Just a miss one, great right ball. Thought Barrett was in, but no, I'll give it to my little bro. Great ball over the top, and then in KT. Great way to finish off. Oh, the decision making right here. Richie Wonga reads the defence jam in, and Bodie Barrett with a nice line draw and pass. Just recognition of the ball will always beat the man and the fancy finish. Just sending him sailing across your TV screens. Barrett to Barrett. Just get it ready and make sure you take it around. Bowden to Geordie. Scott's still in the park as well. Oh, yeah. That's the full stop. Is that is the smile? full stop. I thought he was going to break into a smile. Wow. Then. Semi. <laughs> Green. Smirk. Good emotion there from the big man punching the air. He'd be really pleased with this game. This performance. And there he is, rightfully getting all the plaudits from the fans, from the Irish fans. Well, it's worth noting that Ireland were the number one ranked team coming into this World Cup. It's obviously spun around here, but it's now New Zealand number one and doing a job on Ireland. 46-14, conversion to come from the right-hand touchline. Moonga sending it out to the right. It's an absolute blowout at the hands of the All Blacks. They are off to semi-final number one. Too good here for Ireland. Full time, the score, 46 to 14. OK, next up for New Zealand. Fairly decent Northern Hemisphere opposition as well. Well, that's going to be some semi-final, isn't it, next week? New Zealand against England. Both teams have laid a mark down in the quarterfinals. Both teams will be going into that game with huge confidence. 
But what a performance to make from New Zealand. Complete performance with and without the ball. Forwards and backs, just a well-oiled machine. Ireland well and truly second best. They give their all, but just not good enough this evening. This all-black machine. As you say, Matt Williams, some star performance tonight from New Zealand. Good taking your pick at certain points for the player of the match. Eventually it fell to Bowden Barrett, who capped it with that final try assist over to his brother, Geordie. We wave goodbye, sadly, to Rory Best. He's 124th cap tonight. He has just given so much to not only Irish rugby, but world rugby. Absolutely, he's an absolute warrior. Gent of a bloke as well. Such a shame his corner finished this way, but he can hold his end up, head up high. Been an absolute legend of the game, Rory Best. He did all he could in a losing effort, did at Rory Best. Some key turnovers really banged it in time and time again at the breakdown to ask questions, but it was just the relentless wave of New Zealand that nullified his efforts. Rory Best, captain of Ireland. A tough night at the office, needless to say. Do you feel you've just off balance all night? Firstly, um, I'd just like to thank this, this unbelievable crowd. Uh, the Irish, as always, it started off with an incredible atmosphere. They were brilliant. Um, but look, the All Blacks were fantastic tonight. We, we felt we prepared well all week. We felt we had a game plan. We felt we had, we had enough in our army to beat them. They just, they just started off, come out of the blacks, or blocks hard at us, put us in the back foot. And, you know, like good sides do, they never let us get off that again. You had to make a lot of tackles in their first half. Do you think fatigue was a factor in the back end of that game? Uh, yeah, I think they were just really, really clinical. Um, they didn't let us um, get on the front foot. And look, this is a, a front foot momentum game, especially in, in knockout rugby. And uh, look, well, the boys that are here will, will look back at this and, and they'll have to see how to get better. But look, I think just for this right now, you have to give enormous credit to the All Blacks. They were fantastic tonight. 14 years in that green jersey. 124 caps you've given to it. I'll leave the last word for you, Cap. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I've loved every minute of it. Um... <laughs> take your time, take your time. Uh, yeah, look, I've, I've loved every minute of it. Um... Like I said at the start, the crowd have been fantastic. The support that I've got from home, um, from the fans when we're at home, when we're away, um, my teammates, um, the coaching staff, and probably in particular Joe as well, who, who's moving on, I think. He brought Irish rugby and, and probably my game in particular to a different level when he came here. And uh, a lot of credit must go to him and just a massive thanks to him. And I suppose good luck to Kieran and, and the All Blacks next week. Well done. Thanks, Kev. Cheers. Kieran Reid, captain of the All Blacks, he come out to make a statement. How important was it to make, um, lay that physical marker early? Oh, look, the Irish are a great side. <laughs> you know, we've come up against them and the, uh, we've been over the last couple of years and they've been on top. So we knew the, the start was going to be important. Um, you know, I think we did that really well tonight, um, able to get some points on the board early, which helped us. What you really did well tonight was effective offloads. I mean, how much have you been working on that to add to your game? Oh, look, probably not too much. Uh, you know, they just come about from us carrying hard and um, getting over the advantage line. So we were able to get some space, but, you know, it was, it was a heck of a test match. I was uh, bloody tough out there, really felt it, so it was awesome. How much do you rely on your bench? How good was that to have a deep squad going forward? Well, look, we're gonna, it's going to be important for us, you know, obviously next week. So uh, we're looking forward to 
to that. Um, you know, but yeah, our bench came on, made an impact, which is uh, what you like to see. Congratulations, good luck for the semi. Thanks, mate. I'd just like to echo what the crowd said about Rory. He has a fantastic career. Mate, you've been a, been a legend of the game, so thank you very much for what you've given to this game. Scenes, isn't it? Never seen a crowd like that. You know, it's crowd we lost by 40 points, but just giving Rory best the ovation he deserves. Absolute legend. Well, Joe Smith, Irish coach, I know a disappointing end for you. I mean, to give the All Blacks a 22 point head start, you just can't do that, can you? No, and it wasn't just the 22 points, it was all the ball we gave them. Uh, I think we missed touch on penalties for us to get good field position three times and it just meant that uh, that we were chasing our tail and they had so much ball in our 22 and our half in that first half that uh, it was very, very tough going. And I suppose when you do drop those balls, it's hard to get your attacking game into effect, isn't it? Yeah, we had a few chances in that first half. I think, uh, you know, one of the tries, the third try that the All Blacks scored, we had a really good gap on the inside. We just didn't quite play it. We just didn't quite have a feel. We've been a little bit flat all season, um, you know, which is disappointing. Maybe we we were great last year and, and, and we just maybe come off, come off the top of that and, and haven't quite been where we wanted to be all year. I suppose we just, oh, you would have heard Rory's uh, words, uh, being a legend, and what he's done for Irish rugby. He mentioned, gee, I mean, six years, three Six Nations, the first time ever beaten your Blacks at home. Once again, uh, Coach, I'll let you have the last word. Uh, look, I'd just like to thank my players and I'd like to thank these supporters, these supporters that we've uh, that followed us all over the place. Uh, Rory's led the team uh, incredibly well and Paul O'Connell before him and um, it's been a privilege for me. It's been a privilege to uh, watch you go to work. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, KT. Is here with uh, very happy Steve uh, Hanson with the All Blacks coach. I know the backs got the tries in the first half, but how good was that front eight? Yeah, well, just before I talk about what we did, I'd like to uh, publicly acknowledge uh, Rory and Joe uh, Smith. I think both of them have been uh, instrumental in, in changing uh, Ireland into a team that's, you know, earlier in the year were number one in the world. So big congratulations to them and uh, their careers. I know they're both finishing up, so... Probably not the way they wanted to do it, but unfortunately, you know, sport's not fair. But you know, I'd just really like to say well done to them. They've done a marvellous job for Ireland. And it's one thing people probably don't talk about enough for the All Blacks is their fitness level. I mean, how good and how much have you put into that? Yeah, we've worked really, really hard on it. You know, Nick Gill um, is one of the better people in the world at strength and conditioning. And, um, you know, we pride ourselves in working hard. Uh, you know, we certainly... Could tell in that last 10 minutes we probably missed that game the other day a wee bit, but um, you know prior to that we were going pretty good. The defence absolutely brilliant tonight. It took them 17 minutes before they got any scores on the board. You've got to be happy with that. Yeah, look, both the defence and the attack. I thought Storm Stormy's done a wonderful job this year and um, got them going well. And uh, you know Fozzie's just got the attack going really, really good. He's um, reinvented it and coaching probably the best we've ever seen him coach. Another World Cup semi-final. Good luck, coach. Thank you. Yeah, thanks very much. Thank you, coach. Well done. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> don't drop, don't drop this little bundle of happiness. It was a sad night in terms of the result, but how awesome to see Rory Best get a chance to really soak it all up after 14 years in the Irish jersey. Oh, she Incredible, isn't it? Here we go. Just the three of them for Rory, all safely over the barrier, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Put a bit of perspective in after losing. Not a dry eye, dry eye in the house. Brilliant scenes. His body deserves a well earned rest. And put his feet up, maybe go back to the farm.
or the MasterCard player of the match, All Black, Bowden Barrett. An outstanding atmosphere. How much did you enjoy that one? Oh, that was great fun, mate. Uh, you know, whenever you play the Irish, you know they've got such a tremendous fan base and it's always a super special atmosphere. And, uh, you know, there's so many black supporters here. We're in, you know, supporters wearing black. So thanks so much for coming out. It uh, really helps. Was this a statement game from the All Blacks tonight? Look, we just wanted to play well. Um, we wanted to bring that intent tonight. And, you know, it's still a die footy. Um, we knew the reality was we could have been going home if we didn't bring it tonight. I know you're playing with a heavy heart yourself and, and your brothers. I just uh, want to say you will let you have the last word with Grindad. Yeah, it's been an emotional week uh, for my family. And, um, you know, all we wanted to do was play well for him tonight. So thinking of you up there, um, love you, Grindad, Ted. Thanks, buddy. Now, I'd just like to invite our MasterCard player of the match, Bowden Barrett. It's an emotion charge night in the end. Yeah, it is always is. This knockout footy. Great performance set piece was outstanding for New Zealand. And again, plenty of ball, plenty of carries, gain line success. Very similar, but look at those off 16 from New Zealand. And just terribly, just dominated the territories. Played the game in the right end of the park, New Zealand, and ultimately a comfortable win. Let's take you back to minute one, where it was a loser goes home at Tokyo Stadium. New Zealand up against Ireland. Ireland with a better record against the All Blacks in recent years than any other team. But from the outset, it was Sevu Reese and the crew just lighting them up. Uh, they tore her apart tonight, the All Blacks. They really did. Complete performance. We thought it was going to be an arm wrestle before the game. We thought it was going to be tight. But in all honesty, after 20, 25 minutes, this game was over. Just complete dominance from New Zealand. So the race with the working defence here to create the opportunity for Bowden Barrett, who had great poise to grab her head, slide through and knock that one down. They're up by 22 at the break, and then the interchange of passing from their big men brought the try for Taylor. It was... Reese chiming in again. Matt Todd was only on the park for all of about five minutes before landing on the spot and getting this one down. It just kept going the way of the All Blacks until it fell for Henshaw. He put one down. There was another penalty try for the Irish. But it was really New Zealand's night. This kind of summed it all up. Sevilla. Away for Coles, bridge on the end, another try. Too good tonight, the All Blacks, and they've made a statement. They've huge court semi-final next week against England. Brilliant performance from New Zealand. Still more to come as well. Just the variety of tries we've seen in this highlights have been superb. Power, pace, skill. Brilliant way to finish the game, Jordy Barrett in the corner. Full time in quarter-final two. New Zealand 46, Ireland 14. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can just take a breath for a moment and look ahead to what's to come tomorrow. England and New Zealand have punched their tickets for the semi. Tomorrow, Wales v France, then the host nation, Japan, up against South Africa, looking to recreate the bright miracle. Speaking of miracles, some of the miraculous play tonight came from Sevu Reese in the 14 for the All Blacks. Oh, sensational, wasn't he? Only on the park for 60 minutes, but made his impact with and without the ball. Really is, makes something out of nothing, this man. Yards after contact, great agility, low centre of gravity, difficult to bring down. Big night. And this was the most impressive thing for me, for a winger winning turnovers in those wide areas. Such a bonus for your team when you've got wingers who are willing to put their head over the ball. Didn't get a try here this evening, but just superb electric player. And what a find he's been in the last season for New Zealand. So Sebu, Reese V, Stockdale, and 
To be fair, Stockdale had some nice involvements tonight, but it was just the Cebu Reese show. Yeah, look at the touches. Only got his hands on the ball four times, Stockdale. Reese 11. Just on the back foot, Stockdale. His time will come again. Young man. Would have learned a lot from this evening's performance. Here's what we have lined up for you tomorrow as well. Wales v France. It is a duplication of their 2011 quarterfinal matchup. Japan v South Africa, as we said earlier. It'll be Japan looking to recreate what they did against the Springboks four years back in Brighton. 50,000 in the house tonight. They rocked and rolled all the way through as New Zealand ran out big winners against Ireland. Their World Cup hoodoo continues to hang over their heads. They have never qualified for a World Cup semi-final. It'll trouble them not in terms of celebrating tonight. New Zealand fans, they get at least another week. It's England next up in Yokohama for the All Blacks fans. We wanted a big one. We got it. And it was the biggest of them all. Too good in the end. We'll catch you all again tomorrow. We're going to do it again. Next up, Wales v France at the Rugby World Cup.